but as a Canadian myself, at one time you were um, perhaps the biggest heel to us uh, as a country that that there was. I went to uh, several events. I, I was telling Katie before we came on air, I saw you in about 2014 in Orlando uh, in a TNA pay per view, and they were they were doing the the Brett chant. Then just just out of curiosity. How, how is it that you dealt with that um, negative feedback that you received from so many, many of us uh, back in the day? I, I, I recall full confession being part of that on, on a couple of occasions, but uh, how, how did that, uh, how did that make you feel? And, and you certainly uh, seem to, to go with it and, uh, and turn it uh, into a favorable position for yourself. Long winded question, but you know what I'm saying? Well, it was it was tough uh, after the all said and done, you know, and I think it's about 22 or 23 years old now or whatever. And uh, I am friends with Brett. It's been two since roughly 2005 since I've been here. And I said, I never thought I'd come back in Canada again. But I came back for a good cause and I was asked to come. And I said, you people have been so nice to me and gave me a good, good welcome. And I want to thank you very much for being polite to me. I said, I've done a lot of good things and I've done a lot of bad things, but nevertheless, I'm not a bad person. And they were, they were amazed. They were super, super great. I feel safe now going over there. You know, I don't know about Montreal though, but but I will go to Toronto. <laughs> well, I'd I'd say you're more than safe. You're you're over in Canada for sure. Jake uh, Walker, the the individual who arranged this interview for the Hannibal TV, is a is a huge uh, fan of uh, the Hart Foundation, the Hart family, and wanted to to know about your memories working with uh, again the late great Owen Hart and his uh, his penchant for those great ribs we've heard so much about. Did you have any of those played on you? Well, okay. Uh, let's start at this. Owen was one of the biggest ribbons in the business. The biggest. But not to hurt nobody, just to have fun. We were in Houston, <laughs> we were in Houston Texas at the same, uh, yeah, at the same Houston building. And Amir Johnson was a world champion at that time. So they had their music all geared up and Owen went up to the music music place and he put Hulk Hogan's music in it and took his out. So when uh, the announcer goes, in your world, heavyweight champion, and the music hit and it was Hogan's music and Ahmed Johnson was the champion. <laughs> that was one of the biggest ribs of, of that, that I loved and carried with me all my life. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates.